my whole mind is so open right now with the possibility of communication, right, of, of gaining that information. Can you talk to people a little bit about what are guides, what is their job, what's our job, how do we work better with them, that sort of a thing? What I would say about the channeling that I do, I'm not attuning to the future or the past. So I always tell my clients, the read is for the moment, right? And we are always evolving. So in an hour, I'm, I'm a different person, even though I might look the same in so many other ways, but I, we are actually morphing and shifting and expanding and changing. and. Um, it, it might not look like that from the news, <laughs> but it's it's going on. It's it's happening. This is this is what we are here for to to grow and expand as souls. Um, so it's not. I will not. I never make futuristic predictions about anything. Um, and in terms of past, we can tap into past lifetime stuff because that really does inform some of what's going on present. But we're really in the moment with the channeling, at least from the the consciousness that I'm channeling from, which is fifth dimensional consciousness, unity consciousness. And then in terms of our spirit team, that is endless. Um, we have guides for everything. I like to tell people that we have guides just like Cynthia heard. Um, well, that was her higher self, but her guides could also come in and to support her and they would be her career guides or her guides of service. We have parenting guides. Thank goodness for my parenting guides. They have saved me from so many problematic moments. Um, we have guides of, uh, we have shoe shopping guides. We have guides that find us the parking spot at the mall, you know, like the most mundane and practical to the most magical and etheric. We have support for this. You have your technology guides, Loretta, that we just channeled <laughs> yeah. earlier. So, and, and they're fun and they are filled with light and joy and they don't take things so seriously and they don't want us to do that either because once we disconnect from the light and joy that we are, we can't receive and we can't grow and expand. Everything then becomes so very serious and um, it, that's just not how we're meant to live, I don't believe, in this in this incredible journey on this amazing planet. So we have guides for everything and all we need to do is talk to them, ask for support, listen. These are practices we can we can get used to and become more um, adept at and they love it. They love to be of service. I don't believe they just swoop in and do things for us on the constant. I believe we need to be in conversation and exchange with them. That's where the relationship really flourishes. Thank you for all of that. Um, number one, my experience has been there. They've got quite the sense of humor <laughs> and uh, it, uh, they're always making me laugh and and they do want us to lighten up so i love that part the other thing is so many people will say things to me like well you know they don't hear me they don't help me or they led me into this bad place and blah blah and uh, why don't they fix it right those sorts of statements yeah it doesn't work like that they don't lead us anywhere bad <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're the team. Basically, I think of them as assigned to us to support our souls in having the experiences that will grow us. Now, as we know, growth does not come from everything being easy, hunky dory. It comes from challenge and peeling away layers and self discovery and making I don't want to say mistakes because you're, or Cynthia said there's no mistakes to be made, but um, having having a rich, full human experience here. But your guides will never, ever lead you down a wrong path. If you are on a path that feels off to you, that is where you have likely strayed from your inner knowing. And our greatest task is to get closer and closer to the voice of wisdom that exists within us because that will never lead us off either.